everyone that shirt from shirts. Fascination. Today, I have to redo this video for some reason. You know my issues here at the house. So, they seem to think they have complete control hacking all my stuff, but they do not. So, we have backup for, but that's not why we're here. We are here to finish sewing something. So let's make this happen. I know, bad sewing joke. But anyway. No, I don't have this turned inside out. I actually have this turned right side out while I'm sewing it. Don't worry about it. It's an old school trick. Be able to... Because I'm trimming the bottom of this garment. This is that buffle puff buddy that um, I had started working on. And now I'm like in the last stitch effort. <laughs> I know. Of a dad sewing punch. I'm getting this done. So does it bother me that right here? Keep me from doing my my thing here? No, of course not. somebody from doing something that they have a passion for doing. I was going to do sewing ASMR today, but like, yeah. Now, you will notice sometimes in my videos, I don't use sewing clips or straight pins to hold anything. I'll just hold the fabric itself because I'm so used to sewing. I know how far under to keep on the sewing foot that it's just easy peasy to me. It really is. done with the trim on this, right? Yeah, here's the thing. Here's, right here's where I started. Let me uh, kind of bring in here. So, right here is where I started from, right? And right there, is where we show Now, a lot of people that are not an experienced sewist, bring it back out so that you can see the rest. If it'll do it, like sometimes I I gotta get a new battery for the remote. So, um, so when you start your uh stitching and you're going all the way around like that, let me bring you up here. We so can see my fugly mug, my fugly mugly. Um, <laughs> you're all like. You're not ugly. I like to joke about it. I've always been told I'm ugly and I don't really care. It's about who you are in here. That's what that's about. Remember, don't treat other people bad because it really reflects on who you are. 
as a as a person it really reflects on who you are. It doesn't matter what nationality you are. Um so now the video I was doing earlier was showing you how to sew the hoodie on or how I was sewing the hoodie the hood on to the hoodie. Um so you back up um, and let you guys see the completed project. It looks kind of cool. It's meant to be sheer, you know, and somewhat like a tunic. It's not my size because it's not meant for me. It does have a stretch. And I just think it's cool for someone that's about to turn 13 and still loves Harry Potter. So, is that good? Heck yeah, it's better than good. It's great. So, I did not, however, put the patches on the sleeve. And let me explain to you why. The right here. Um, I kind of have to sit in dim light today because of my headaches. The closer it gets to me having to... Um, go get another round of Botox for my headaches. The worse the headaches start to get because it's wearing off. Okay, so I have the fabric already on, the fusible. And so I clipped the other Harry Potter fabric. I will have to turn the light on. The other Harry Potter fabric on the back and so what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do, so I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. <sighs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch that on there, and I'm going to see if I have any coordinating um, beads to go with this. If not, that's okay, because... I do have the silk yellow thread. This is the silk threading. And don't forget, if you did watch that one video, I also have the gray, and then I also have black. So, quite frankly, this is now just going to be a cute pair of earrings. Why not? Right? It was either that or the bracelet, but earring. A 13-year-old wouldn't want a pair of Harry Potter Hufflepuff earrings, you know, like totally in for that. So that's what I'm going to do is do a traditional hand stitch to make these into earrings. I think that's going to look cute. It will not only go with the garment, it will go with the little handbag and... Nobody else is going to have it except for the person that I'm making it for. So that works out. Sorry, this video is kind of short today. I got to shut that light off. Sorry. Um, yeah, I have to shut that light off because, like, that's also why I have my, um, my, transition lenses on today yeah the headache is there but you now with everything i've been through in my life i try to give it a positive outlook because if you don't give life a positive outlook you're not going to go forward in a positive direction um so that's just my way of thinking. I don't know what your thought is on that. Maybe you think the same. Maybe you don't. That's your opinion. We are all entitled to an opinion. So, anyway, let me know kindly in the comments below what you think. Absolutely. Let me know. And, you know was on with the show because <laughs> I, I just like
doing things. Now, the other thing that I would have been able to do in that video was show you something that I want to do, fun with an apron, right? So, kind of let me like come back here a little bit and bring you with me. So we'll step into the light, Carol Ann, for this one. Uh, now, originally when this was bought, oh, my big ass is like kind of blocking the sun from the dust. But there isn't any sun out today. It's all like overcast and rainy. So anyway, um, what I'm going to do with this before the battery dies uh, is I thought about taking this really cute 19, I think this is a 1960s pattern. Um, size 16, bust is a size 38, made in Canada, McCall's step-by-step -step pattern. It comes with the turtleneck pattern, which I think is great because a lot of patterns don't come with two things much anymore. And so this is going to be fabulous. Um, so my thought on this is make this front part an apron. I thought that would be super cute to make the front part into an apron. Like, I just think that would be cool because you could take that waistbanding, right? You take that waistbanding on it and you extend that waistbanding. It's in the middle one. Me turn that light back on for you so you can see that right there in the middle one that waistbanding and um that waistbanding turns into the tie piece and then what i will do is just for the neck banding just bring it around and um that should be cute, or just go ahead and take part of the um, the bust and just, well, no, 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 wait, armhole facing, yes, that right there, the armhole facing, that can be the part that just slips over, and then I just, you know, that's cool because then you can just slip it on and tie it and it's good. It's like one of those old school aprons, you know what I mean? And then I'm actually going to attempt to make the whole dress anyway. What am I going to make it out of? Um, I thought maybe some fun dental or another fabric I may have. Leave kindly in the comments below if you'd like to see a whole dress done in the denim. Um, and I'm thinking about like that waistbanding from A would be perfect on any of these. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I kind of like this because this reminds me, this one here reminds me of the Queen's Gambit. If you've ever watched that, I've watched it. I didn't think I would like it at first. And then I kind of got into it. So there's that. But anyway, like I said, let me know kindly in the comments below what you think of this. What you think of turning these into earrings. Because I think that would be cute. Um, I do. I think that would be cute. So that will be my hand sewing of the week. And if I really and seriously wanted to, I can take some of the herringbone here and just stitch it around for a coordinating band on it. So there is that possibility of just hand stitching that on there because it goes with both fabric. So you never know, I might do that. And I still have my jewelry making supplies. I just have to pull them out. Um, 
I do have, well, I gotta shut that light off again in a minute. I do have to pull out my uh, bead weaver. That sounded weird, bead weaver. <laughs> Which I got from Prairie Edge. I need something to drink. I have some half and half tea. If it's half and half like me, I can drink it. <laughs> Your half and half will not spiel. Okay, I've been watching way too much Forged in Fire. The Asian guy is like, your blade will kill. <laughs> his expression. I love his expression. Anyway, like I said, let me know kindly in the comments below if you'd like to see me do a video. I'm making the dress. Um, I think that would be cool. Also making the dress into a freaking apron. I think that would be cool too. And I do plan on making me a pair of pants out of some stretchy denim. That fits like a yoga pant. And you can just slip them on. It, to me, it's, in my age at 47... I'm all about the comfort right now. My weight is going down, but my thyroid is swelling up. It went down a little today, but sometimes my thyroid swells up. But yeah, other than that, life is okay. Life is, life is what it is. Am I really worried about fabric, Mark? Not in the least. It's whatever. Whatever. You know, everything happens for a reason, and there's a reason for everything. And that includes how you present yourself and your attitude towards life and other people. I don't care what nationality you are. Always treat people with kindness because in history, there's been a lot of crap that shouldn't have happened, did happen. But they happen to all different nationalities, you know what I mean? Um, so people need to keep an open mind about a few things. But that's just my thought, my opinion. And um, to me, people are just people. And that's just how it is. We share a planet. People are just people. Should we all be treated equally? Yeah, because we all matter. If we all didn't matter, we wouldn't exist, now would we? Ha! Oh. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And I'll see you in the next one. Who knows when that'll be, so. See you then. Bye.